3c. We are told to solve this logarithmic um, inequality and then represent the solution on a number line in, in interval notation. Now, uh, with logarithmic inequalities, there are a few things that you need to know um, or things that you need to remember. Now, the first thing is that this logarithm must be defined and then that one must also be defined. So I write um, for left hand side to be valid. That means it must be a real number. It must have a solution. What do I need to check? Uh, this argument here, x, x is called the argument. The argument must be greater than zero. So I should have x that is greater than zero. So it's this argument over here. It must be greater than zero. And the same thing is true over here. The argument must be greater than zero. If I have an argument that is zero, that means you're taking log of zero, that is undefined. If you're taking log of a negative term, that is also undefined. So same thing for the right hand side. To be valid or defined, then I should have 4 minus x greater than 0. Okay, now with the first one, I didn't say it, I just moved on. But if I have x is greater than 0, that is fine, that is a solution. And then here, 4 minus x should be greater than 0. I still need to rewrite that way, x is the subject, if you will. So I have this. Uh, I can take x to the other side, so I have 4, see the sign is still facing the other, the way it is, and then this goes to the other side, and now it is positive. So 4 should be greater than x. If 4 is greater than x, that means x is less than 4, okay? So 4 is greater than x, 4 is bigger than x, it means that x is smaller than 4. So I'm just rewriting it. So these two actually mean the exact same thing. I'm just saying it in another way. Okay, so that is the first thing. When we have a logarithmic inequality, uh, both logarithms must be defined. Okay, and um, this inequality needs to hold. So in order for this to be true, this has to be true. Four minus x has to be less than x. Okay, so when I have a logarithmic inequality like this, if um, so, this one is less than that one, and this number here, two, is greater than one. It means that this one here must also be smaller than that one. So that's why I say this number here is smaller than the argument over there. Okay, so this is a simple inequality that I can solve. I can take this negative x to the other side. So I have 4 is less than 2x. It went to the other side. It became positive x. So I had x plus x is 2x. Then I can divide by 2 on both sides. So I have 2 is less than x. Okay, and that's it. Now all I need to do is combine all these conditions. Remember the first one is this logarithm must be defined. The second one, this logarithm must be defined. And then the last one is that this uh, must hold. Okay, so I need to combine them. So I'm looking for numbers that are positive, they're bigger than zero, they should be less than four, and they should also be bigger than two. So we can see this on a number line. I can represent all these numbers, zero, two, and four. So zero obviously comes first, then I have two, and then I have four. So let's look at this first one. I want all the numbers which are bigger than zero so that means if i started zero it's a whole it's an open circle because there's no equal to under and all the numbers bigger than zero are on this side okay 
that's the first condition the second condition I want numbers which are less than 4 okay so I can put another circle at 4 numbers less than 4 are on the left of 4 so this is all these numbers going that way and again there's an open circle because there is no equal to sign under there then so then I look at the third condition the third condition is I want numbers which are bigger than 2 so here if you remember how to read this one 2 is smaller uh, than x that means that x is bigger than 2 so I can rewrite it if it's easier to understand it so this sorry this is a 2 that is a 2 okay so 2 is smaller than x that means x is bigger than 2 okay so I put a circle on top of 2 because there is no line underneath and I want numbers which are bigger than 2 that means all the numbers on the right of 2 now to combine all these three conditions there's this condition bigger than 2 this condition bigger than 0 this condition smaller than 4 I need to look for the area on my number line that has three lines above it so in other words I'm saying stand anywhere on the number line and when you look up there should be three lines above you so if I stand over here or way over here if you look up you see only this line over here that's not good enough we want all three lines above you if I go this side here if I look up there's only this line here less than four above you so that's not good enough if I stand somewhere here if I look up there's this line and that one over here so again that is not good enough so the only place I can stand on this number line where I have two li three lines above me when I look up is this region here from there to there if I stand anywhere there and I cannot stand at 2 because at 2 I have an open circle. There is no line there. I cannot stand at 4 because this line here has an open circle. So I will have only 2 lines there. Okay, so I can draw that as a number line or nicely. I have 2 and 4. I must draw an open circle there. Go all the way up until 4. You can shade it if you like. Leave it like that. That's also fine. So this is the solution any number between 2 and 4 if I were to substitute it in there then this inequality would hold and I was also told to write this in interval notation so this is an interval from 2 to 4 2 and 4 are not included so that's why I have round brackets all the way up until 4 and then that's just how you would do it